Barbie, can I talk to you for a second? No, 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 it's, it's not about our routines. Our cheers are in perfect shape for homecoming, though your legs were a little bad back and your hamstring, but that's fine. No, it's not about that. It's, um, well, okay, so I have a confession to make, or it's, it's not really a confession so much as like um, a secret. Yeah, I have a secret. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to tell you because I trust you, Abby. And I know you won't judge me and you won't run around and tell everyone and... Ew, gross. No, it's not chlamydia. <laughs> okay, it's just, just say it, Kimberly. Just say it. Okay, um... I'm really sorry, this is like really hard for me. Um, it's just that nobody knows this about me except my parents, they already know, but. Um, <laughs> here it goes. I like Dostoyevsky. <laughs> there, I said it, oh my God, I feel so good to say it out loud. <laughs> Dostoyevsky. Dostoyevsky, fight or dust. Okay, you know what? He wrote Crime and Punishment. Come on, Abby, we studied for the exam together. Yes, okay, yeah, him, him. I like him, I love him, I love him. And I know it makes no sense, because, you know, I'm a freaking cheerleader, okay? And I am deep into 19th century Russian literature. I mean, it's, okay, I don't know. It's just, it's just not him, okay? I've been tearing through Gogol and Turgenev and Tolstoy. I mean, all of them, yes. I mean, I know it's so weird, okay? I am not a dark person. You know me. And don't worry, I'm not about to, like, dye my hair blue and get, like, a nose piercing and hang out with the emo kids in the cafeteria. That's not happening, <laughs> okay? So, like, I like wearing really cute clothes and curling my hair and getting hyped up for sports, okay? But I also can relate to something in this literature like on like, I don't know, like a deep human level, okay? <laughs> I have read Crime and Punishment six times now, so like it's getting really serious. <laughs> I mean, this is just why I can't hide it anymore. I mean, you know, I think about Raskinilokov, oh my god, I can't even say his name. I love Russian literature, but I can't say his name, okay? He's the main character, Abby. Okay, yeah, yes, the one who murders the old lady, that's it, yeah. He thought he was better than certain other people in society because of his superiority. Like, he had the right to kill one of the unworthy people if it served him a better purpose. I mean, the purpose of his advancement. How is that any different from football? Okay. One team is certain it's better than the other, and they go out on the field and they prove it. And then they get all this glory at the expense of the other team's loss. Okay, it's not a perfect metaphor. But you think it'd be enough for me to not feel so damn scared to tell people about this? I mean, this could just ruin my whole social life. Okay, okay, Abby, I just, I really need you to say that you will support me, please. Will you still be my friend? <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> Thank you. You are the best. Thank you just so much. And you'll stand by my side when I come out to the rest of the squad. <laughs> you are so wonderful. I mean, you know what, you're right, okay, this, they may be weirded out at first, but in time they will come to accept me. Cause you know, I just have to embrace myself, you know, be true to my true self. Man, I feel great. <laughs> What's that? You're gay? Oh cool. Do you wanna get pizza? <laughs>